I learned so much by just observing nature. I see a plant with lush green leaves and on the leaves live insects. Cooperation seems to be benefiting both. There is no loss of identity, just a cooperation of species. On the local news today, stories abound highlighting pride in skin color and very little is said of embracing one's nationality. How about you? What's more important to you? Your skin color or your country? I look at the interplay with nature. Even the dead logs have a part to play in the support of life. And I ask, what is more important, leaves or insects? Insects or birds? Birds or people? Interesting how easy it is to convince so many people to kill each other based on color, religion, and ethnicity. It's way too easy, really. I give you, for example, I give you Iraq. Many Christians murdered and millions of Christians displaced there. What have we created there, anyway? Then, there's Serbia. Remember Croatia? How about Sudan? And what about Biafra? Then I read the news today about Uganda. Yes, today. Yes, Uganda. The pride people are taking in their ethnic cleansing there. All people in Uganda look alike to me. But the politicians and religious leaders have found enough differences in people that genocide is the result. After all, if you can emphasize the differences in people, you detract from what is really important. I look at nature and I'm in awe and how these so-called primitive life forms seem to cooperate. Insects live on leaves, plant life growing on dead wood, birds living on insects, all without malice or deliberate ethnic cleansing. As I read about Uganda, I can't help but wonder what would have happened if in Uganda all the people had placed their energy in building a country, growing national pride, putting country ahead of race and ethnicity, as we do here. I am so glad that we, our people, have evolved beyond color and ethnicity and have taken pride in our unity and nationality. No more need to celebrate our adjective at the expense of our noun. Ah, yes, national pride. Please, Google Uganda and their ethnic cleansing and civil war. It is not pretty.